This video is sponsored by Crossout. Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Now, normally I'm digging into video games for historical nuggets, but today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be putting the historical nuggets back into video games. I'm taking a look at a game called Crossout. This is an online vehicle shooter where all vehicles are player made. I've been playing the game pretty much all week, and what makes it so addictive is the complete freedom of creativity that you have here. You can build basically whatever you want. It's like the best parts of my childhood with those little plastic bricks grew up, only, well, I don't have to worry about stepping on one of them in the middle of the night, and Crossout actually brings these creations to life. Crossout is free to play on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Again, no purchase necessary, just simply download and play. Use the link in the video description for a sweet bonus. Now, most of the people in Crossout come up with some really awesome, you know, futuristic Mad Max style vehicles. I even saw somebody build a human shaped mech. I had no idea you could even do that in this game, but, uh, well, because it's me, I thought with my time in Crossout, I would take the opportunity to model out a few of my favorite historical armored vehicles and put them to the test in the game's PvP and PvE modes, though Crossout also has seasonal stuff like Battle Royale, Racing, Vehicle Football, Clan Wars, and more. For this video, I tried to match my vehicles as close as I could to the real thing, but you'll see that doesn't always translate to success. To kick things off, let's spend some time in World War I. I was able to create quite a few of the first tanks ever built in Crossout, and some of them I'm actually really proud of. While playing, I discovered there's a bit of a balancing act to building a vehicle in the game, and it all adds up to something called your power score. You've got to pick an engine, weapon, wheels, tracks, other parts, etc. Tons of stuff to choose from here, but uh, you have to prioritize. Are you going to go for form, or are you going to go for function? Uh, for what I was trying to do for most of the World War I designs, I tried to focus on primarily the visuals here, and, uh, well, generally, <laughs> that proved to be less than ideal, right? There's a reason for that. There's a ton of different weapons in Crossout, ranging from shotguns to artillery to mine layers to machine guns and even drones. And when we talk about World War I, the machine gun was obviously a favorite there, but many vehicles simply had just one, or they might have had many pointing in different directions. Not exactly great for concentrating your fire, which I've discovered is something you must do in Crossout. It's also important to have multiple ways of dealing damage. You don't want to wind up helpless if your main armament gets destroyed. Crossout supports an advanced vehicle damage model, which means you can shoot off individual parts of an enemy vehicle in battle, affecting its performance in real time. So shoot off your enemy's wheels, guns, split them in half, or blow them to pieces. It's actually both kind of hilarious and sad to see uh, vehicles kind of limping along missing wheels or chunks of them. But uh, designs like the British Whippet or the Tank Mark I didn't pan out great, right? We're talking about massive tanks, so their size and slow speed really proved to be their downfall, even if they did look pretty cool. For others like the Schneider or the saint Chaban, the limited gun traverse I found to be problematic. It was actually really interesting to experience the shortcomings of these designs firsthand in Crossout and understand why tanks have evolved in the direction that they have. Thankfully, I had much better luck with the smaller designs. For example, the Ford three-ton tank was underpowered with its armament, but it was relatively speedy and maneuverable. In the end, I tweaked the design to hide some more modern weaponry, like homing rockets, and the game's pop-up radar was the perfect stand-in for an access hatch. Its low profile was also helpful in keeping it alive. Others, like the LK-2, actually worked quite well. The version I made features a shotgun and explosive drone, so it's intended to be one of those up-close and personal kind of vehicles. You probably noticed here that Crossout has a wide variety of cabins and weapon styles to match whatever visual aesthetics you might be looking for. 
My favorite from World War I, though, definitely has to be the FT-17. This one really came together visually, and it shows the strength of the turreted tank design over some of the other early tank models. It was stable at speed, and the tail here actually helped it stay upright. Plus, it doubled as a melee weapon. Next, I thought I would give World War II vehicles a go, and I spent some time making a few armored cars, as that's what Crossout is all about, right? Check out this M8 Greyhound. I spent a lot of time with the cosmetics on this one, trying to just bring it to life. If you look closely, you'll spot things like jerry cans, tools, ammo boxes, and these tactical logs right here. There are many accounts of tankers in World War II lashing logs to the side of their vehicles in an attempt to add to their armor. Whether or not that worked is debatable, and cross out they're just cosmetic, but it really sells that kind of late war look. For the German armored cars, I put together something inspired by the Sonderkopf Fahrzeug 234. I was even able to add eight wheel steering, just like it had in real life, and also threw on some guided rockets, making it even more of a threat at a distance. Similarly, I didn't forget about the oft-ignored self-propelled artillery. I built this little guy after the German Humble and gave it a long-range optics so it could take out distant enemies. It's a great balance of those three key factors, speed, armor, and firepower. For World War II tanks, I built an example of America's first foray into the war, specifically an M2 Stuart. Far more well-armed than its real-life counterpart, the one I made in Crossout certainly looks like the real thing, but it features a powerful cannon and a hidden rocket launcher. I also made an anti-aircraft version as well. Lastly, I couldn't forget about the iconic Soviet Katyusha. Okay, so it's not a perfect match, but it is still terrifying to be on the receiving end of its rocket barrage. Of course, this is just what I chose to do inside of Crossout, right? Naturally, you can just throw that historical stuff out the window and build whatever kind of awesome machine that you want to. Maybe something with chainsaws and a cloaking device so you can ambush your enemies. If you're unsure of what to make, the game can even generate a vehicle based on the parts in your inventory. And actually, one of the coolest things about Crossout there is an exhibition tab where you can actually go and share your designs with other people in the community and they're able to see yours if you put them up there, download them, and then build them if they have uh, the parts available. That's a really neat way to kind of make things social right there. The point is though, I had a great time building all of these vehicles in Crossout and I enjoy the actual gameplay. You can fight against real players or AI. You can complete challenges, unlock gear, and there's even a campaign you can work through that will teach you the ropes and actually provide uh, some quality humor there. I enjoyed that. Join a survivor faction and unlock special rewards. Again, there is tons to do in this game. There's even a player-driven economy where you can sell your loot or manufactured items to other players on the market and then spend the profits on the equipment that you want. Plus, developers keep updating the game every couple of months to add even more content, including factions, parts, maps, and new gameplay features. So click the link in the video description. Just give Crossout a go. It's free. It's available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. No purchase necessary, just download and play. And if you use my link, you'll get a nice little bonus. So tell me in the comments which vehicle was your favorite or which one I should build next. I've been sharing quite a few over on Twitter, so give me a good challenge. Or if you think you can do better than what I put together, show me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. It was a blast to put this together, exploring all of the creative options and cross out really racking my brains to try and figure out a way to make everything fit together uh, to visualize what I wanted to create. I had so much fun. I really hope that you give it a try. And again, thanks to Crossout for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching.